okay so maybe you can uh, just help me understand uh, mm-hmm. what is the problem you are facing where you are stuck yes sure so uh, i'll share my screen yeah yeah sure yes okay. yeah um, so i pinged on uh, on our learning portal that uh, i'm facing one issue and then you suggested uh, to check uh, first the first issue that i i mentioned that uh, uh, i have two two installation of python one is for version 8 and one is for 11 so you mentioned that any anything can work mm. so i i executed and i faced the same error uh, uh, then you mentioned to create a new project python project mm. i i created a new project because the error that was mentioned is showing that there is some issue in the configuration and it is not able to pick the path like that that is what my understanding mm. was so i created a new pro- project and i again executed and i i i get the same not the same error but i don't know what error it is cannot so this run is, program python 3 create process error to the system cannot find the specified path so okay let's do some basic checks uh, mm-hmm. can you start your command prompt and see if you have java installed okay let me start so java no no java yeah yes. not java java minus version java minus version yes yeah so you have java 1.8 uh, 202 so that should be fine mm-hmm. uh, next thing uh, check for python python minus minus version so python 3.10 is also there okay and uh, uh have you set up all the environment variables like uh, uh, yes i have set up i can show you that as well mm. Mm. i guess path right Good. path so pi spark PySpark path and then Python park and Spark home that I have set Just and then yeah. uh, PySpark driver Python is not required I think that you can remove delete that okay. mm-hmm. PySpark there is no variable called PySpark path where did you get that uh, so let me tell you the list of variables uh, we have uh, hadoop home hadoop home is park home python path and pi spark python four variables required so show me hadoop home let's say start with the hadoop home okay hadoop home hadoop home is uh, c drive users one drive documents so do you have this directory can you yes i have directory? uh so this is the directory one drive document is data bricks let me go one directory back and then hadoop 3.2.2 okay hadoop yes. 3.2.2 uh data bricks go back to the environment variable is it same Yes, I open the Notepad plus plus. We can check here if you want to just. No. So this is from the environment variable, and this is my location. Okay, so Adobe so Home is fine. the mm. uh, next variable is is park home yes is park home is 
Falcon, I will check the same. Yes. So this is the Spark. Spark three point two point one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, then next one is your Python path. Yes, this uh, is the. Uh, just a minute. Close this. This Py Spark path. Remove that one. That is not required. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now Python path. There are two path. Yes. Shall I copy both and check? Uh, copy one and then the next one. Okay. And this is. Okay, just okay. let me see. Ah, uh, that should be fine. Just check the first one if you have. Uh, mm -hmm. This this goes in the same if Spark Home, right? Uh, yeah, the same. Three point one. Also, that should be fine. Mm -hmm. So if I open so Spark three point, if I check Spark three point two point one, and inside it we have Python. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, Pi, yeah, one more is required. Pi Spark Python. Pi Spark Python that I have set. Environment variable. Yes, that is not there. I guess that okay. is not there. So, Pi Spark Python is your Python location. So, mm -hmm. uh, go to command prompt and uh, type this where space Python. Copy this path entire, including python.exe. And variable name, create an environment variable. Name should be PySpark underscore Python. I can create here as well, right? Yes. Spark underscore Python. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. OK. Yes. OK. Now close it. Close, okay. it. close the command prompt. I start it once again. Okay. Just mm -hmm. type Pi Spark. Ah. Okay. So Spark is installed correctly. Now mm -hmm. let's uh, close your uh, PyCharm, restart it again, and open the same project. Let's see. Just a minute. What is this? Okay, tip you can close. Code with me, inviter. Okay, that one also you can close. Uh, Price spark is stubs that you can ignore at the below actions showing, right? Mm. Uh, click the actions, otherwise, it will keep on asking. Actions, oh, action. that's fine. Next time it is asking, go to actions and uh, click ignore or something. Okay, okay. so uh, let's try running it. We'll, we'll see you now. It's still not working then we will uh, okay that's fine it should uh -oh. work that's so easy <laughs> I think uh, pi spark python variable was not defined and you defined pi spark uh, driver python or something to yes two unnecessary variables and uh, were defined. Those yes. might be conflicting. And PySpark okay. Python was not defined. That was the reason. OK. OK. Clear. So, so great. That's all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shall I stop sharing now? Yeah, yeah. That's fine. We, yes. we are done. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Prashant. And just on feedback, it was uh, really nice. Uh, 
the material that is mentioned in the is you know on the portal it is really nice and you know it is not lot of material you know sometimes i i am also attending other classes where i find that they posted a lot of materials on the portal so sometimes it feels like so much of you know baggage to learn but <laughs> yeah. but for you you are explaining the same thing on the video and the same thing is mentioned in the pdf so it it really ni- nice to revise the thing after watching the video so just feedback i i really like that okay thank you yes okay okay thanks thanks yeah. we are done for today let me know if you have any other problem we will uh... yes Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay, Bye. thank you Prashant. Bye-bye.